Dear students, welcome to your math guide. This is question number 8, exercise 13.3. Water in a canal 6 meter wide and 1.5 meter deep is flowing with a speed of 10 km per hour. How much area will it irrigate in 30 minutes if 8 cm of standing water is needed? This is the cross section of the canal through which the water flows into the land. The width of the canal is 6 meter. The depth of the water that flows through it is 1.5 meter. The speed of water is 10 km per hour. That means the water flows up to a length of 10 km in 1 hour through the canal. So the length of this cross section is 10 km. The dimensions of the cross section are Its length is 10 km, that is 10,000 meter. Width is 6 meter and the depth of the water that flows through the canal is 1.5 meter. Water flows into the land for 30 minutes. This land is rectangular in shape. After irrigating 30 minutes, the depth of water standing on this area is 8 cm. We have to find the area of this land. Area of this land is the product of its length and breadth. Let's take the area of this land as x meter square. That is, x is equal to product of length and breadth. The depth of standing water is 8 cm, that is 8 by 100 meter. The volume of this cross section will give the volume of the water that flows into the land in 1 hour. Volume of the cross section is the product of its length, breadth and the depth of water. The length is 10,000 meter, the width is 6 meter and the depth is 1.5 meter. This will give the volume of water that flows into the land in 1 hour, that is in 60 minutes. The land is irrigated for 30 minutes, so the volume of water that flows into the land in 30 minutes is equal to 10,000 into 6 into 1.5 into 30 by 60. Cancel the zeros. The 6 by 6. Multiplying together we get 45,000 meter cube. So in 30 minutes 45,000 meter cube of water will flow into the land. After 30 minutes the volume of standing water on this area is equal to the volume of the water that flow through this cross section in 30 minutes. Water is collected on this area in the shape of a cuboid. So the volume of the standing water is equal to the product of the area of the land and the depth of the water. Volume of standing water is 8 by 100 into x. And the volume of water that flows into the land in 30 minutes is 45,000 meter cube. Now x is equal to 45,000 into 100 by 8 which is equal to 5,62,500. X is the area of the land, so the unit is meter square. To convert into hectares, divide by 10,000, because 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 meter cube. So we get 56.25 hectares. Therefore, the area to be irrigated is 5,62,500 meters square or 56.25 hectares.